Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, in my previous video I have discussed about the morphological models and also the types of morphological models and coming to this video we are going to discuss about the topic finding the structure of documents. So why we have to extract the structure of documents is extracting the structure of documents helps natural language processing tasks like parsing, machine learning etc. See documents might be any PDFs or Word documents or any documents right. So whenever you are trying to extract that document means that means you are uh, either translating that text or you you are understanding that text or you might be passing that text or doing this natural language processing task you are actually finding the structure of documents so how you are actually finding the structure of documents so there is one approach that is by chunking the input text or speech to blocks chunking is nothing but parts so you are dividing the input text into parts so that you can find the structure of the documents so this process is nothing but segmentation segmentation is nothing but you are dividing some input text into parts right okay so uh, for english language we might be doing this particular thing by chunking the words okay but when it comes to other languages there might be different approaches uh, let's take uh, chinese documents for example so in, in english language we are differentiating the word by, by using white spaces right but when it comes to chinese documents there are no white spaces in it so you can't segment that particular word right you can't segment those words because there are no white spaces so what you are doing is you are segmenting character by character in order to get that particular word okay then we are coming to morphologically rich languages what are these morphologically rich languages the languages which is having more words i mean more morphemes okay this approach may be different i mean uh, finding the structure of documents in this languages might be different they might follow the pre-processing step first that means they will be determining the tokens and then they will apply di different algorithms in order to find the structure of the documents okay so in order to chunk the text segmentation is used so i already discussed the chunking is nothing but segmentation right so segmentation is done in order to find the structure of the documents so now we will be uh, seeing what is segmentation and what are all the types of segmentations we have so uh, now we are discussing what is segmentation and the types of segmentations so what is segmentation Se segmentation is nothing but you are dividing the given text into some chunks right so what is the main aim of segmentation is it decides whether to mark a boundary between two tokens as sentence boundary or topic boundary suppose you have one word and the other word so you can understand whether uh, it is uh, the sentence boundary or topic boundary we humans can understand but the machine can't understand right so what it does is it segments uh, the word by word by uh, recognizing the white spaces between them so this segmentation what what's the uh, main aim of the segmentation is it either detects the sentence boundary I, I, Sentence boundary is nothing but that is the end of the sentence or it detects the topic boundary. Topic boundary is nothing but it detects whether that particular topic ends. I mean that particular paragraph ends. So the main aim of the segmentation is it, it finds the sentence boundary or topic boundary. Okay. There are two types. These are of two types, the segmentation. So first one is sentence boundary detection and se uh, second one is topic boundary detection. So first we will be discussing about what is sentence boundary detection. So sentence boundary detection also called sentence segmentation. So you already know what is segmentation, right? So sentence is nothing but a particular sentence i mean uh, where it starts with the uppercase and ends with the full stop okay so we are uh, chunking that particular sentence in order to find uh, the boundary of that particular sentence to to make the systems easy to understand okay the process of segmenting sequence of words into units so this is nothing but sentence boundary detection so how you can actually identify a particular sentence in uh, a particular languages when it comes to english language so we can identify sentence by seeing the beginning of the sentence we mostly write uh, we mostly begin begin the sentences with uppercase right so uppercase is nothing but the beginning of the sentence and the we end the sentences by using either question mark or full stop or exclamatory mark okay but there are some problems while segmentation i mean particularly in sentence boundary detection so what what are those problems let, let us see so sometimes we use capitalizations in the middle of the sentences right so when it uh, when it comes to nouns we will be using capital letters right i mean whenever you refer to a person name or a or a place name all those things we will be writing the capital letters and also abbreviations for abbreviations we will be writing the capital letters okay and also we will be using the punctuation marks inside the sentence not at the uh, we will be using at the end of the sentence but also we will be using in the middle of the sentences that these uh, these might confuse the system to detect the sentence boundary okay now let me explain you uh, with an example so this is the example sentence i talked to dr smith and my house is on mount india so in the sentence here we will be we have dr with and which ends with full stop right but this doesn't mean that it, the sentence is ending here but when it comes to the second dr here we will be having full stop right so that means here the sentence is ending this is here the system should detect that the sentence is ending here the boundary of a sentence is here but not here okay so there are different systems in order to identify 
the sentence boundary so the first one is optical character recognition so what this optical character recognition do is it segments the input text into sentences so these systems confuses with periods and commas so this system uh, it does segmentation and so while doing segmentation it might get confused with this periods and commas periods are nothing but the full stops all those things and uh, but whatever uh, the sentence boundary detects it, it it results in the meaningful sentences so the next system is automatic speech recognition so optical character recognition is nothing but it it only uh, changes the input text so whatever the text we have given that it will change but when it comes to automatic speech recognition it changes the speech whatever the speech we will be giving audio we will be giving to the system that that particular speech is only changed here okay so these kind of systems may be get confused with punctuation marks so punctuation marks exclamatory question marks full stops all those things are nothing but the punctuation marks so they might get confused with these kind of symbols so the uh, the bigger uh, disadvantage is the code switching problem the main problem is code switching problem what does mean by this code switching problem is so only it arises with uh, uh, some uh, some some languages only so when it comes to spanish this code switching problem arises so in spanish uh, spanish uses inverted question marks and exclamatory marks so in english we will be using a uh, question mark like this right the symbols of question mark and exclamatory marks are like this right but when it comes to spanish they are inverted so for this uh, particular system it might be difficult to recognize what this symbols are so it uh, it would be difficult for them to detect the sentence sentence boundary okay so uh, different rule based patterns are also used to identify the end of the sentence and sometimes if if they find any known abbreviation then uh, no segmentation is done there so uh, in the previous example uh, the system uh, already know that dr is some abbreviation right so whenever it founds that particular abbreviation then the segmentation process it doesn't do but uh, when it doesn't know that that the particular word is an abbreviation then it it does the segmentation process so these systems mainly recognizes these abbreviations by training them see if you train that particular system with huge amount of documents only it can be able to uh, it can be able to find the uh, sentence boundary whenever you give a new text right so this is how uh, the segmentation process is done uh, in sen- in uh, recognizing the sentence boundary so in the next video i will be discussing about uh, topic boundary detection so this is about uh, sentence boundary detection if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please do comment in the comment section and please share it with your friends if you find it really valuable and thank you